G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in the brand new Alpha 19. Still getting my tongue to actually form those words every time and not stumble across and accidentally say Alpha 18 again, but the new Alpha 19, where I'm back to continue the Extinction series into day 4. So we're really starting to push along now, the Blood Moon Horde is not too far away, but I finally moved into my new digs, put a torch up on the wall, found the best spot possible to kind of like canvas the whole room with light so we're looking pretty dinky die right about now I've got my land claim block over in the corner to try and cover the garage as well but I think now this whole place is now mine I've boarded up all the windows so I should be pretty right to stay in here for a little bit but I need to do a lot of stuff today there's a lot of things I need to do First thing I want to do is go and sell some more stuff to old matey Trady Potatey just over near the old base, um, just over there. But the other thing that I want to do is I need to go and find myself some more food. I'm down to Vegemite, uh, Vegemite Sangers and one vitamin. I'm out of canned food. I did go through and like sort all my inventory stuff. In fact, while I think about it, uh, let's grab you because now that I got this, I can put an extra mod onto my shovel, which has 57 block damage. So I might actually be able to go and dig up that buried treasure, which is like the fifth thing down the list of things I need to do today. There's lots to do, and I'm sitting here flapping my gums about it, but rather than I go running out into the world and do something wrong, what do I need for a forge? For first of all, uh, I know I do have, I, oh, that's why I read the schematic at the traders. Okay, small stone, clay soil, leather, duct tape, short iron pipe. I should have most of that stuff already. Let's see if I can make myself a forge right off the get-go. Yep, I absolutely can. Boom, get that on the craft. Put the rest of you guys back away. They did use all of my leather, but I'll hopefully find some out there anyway. I'll take my hunting knife just in case I come across a deer or a wolf or a pig or something that needs to be skinned. I'll take my knife with me. Uh, that's about all I need in there. We're good. I've got ammo on me. I've got lockpicks. I've got arrows. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. We're looking pretty, pretty bloody happy right about now, actually. We're really starting to come together. I've got these two points to spend that I haven't spent yet. I'm not sure where I want to put them. Uh, in fact, I might even go. I haven't really put many points into Javelin Master before. Uh, tier 2 quality spears. Already got a tier 2, but 10% more damage. I feel like, I mean, until I can afford to get some uh, forgetting elixir, I feel like my first points are just kind of spread across kind of a jack of all trades to make sure that I'm covering all my bases for when I eventually, inevitably, need it all again. Uh, actually, what I should do... Yeah, here we go. Hidden Strike. Let's get an extra 50% damage on top of the 3.5 we're already doing. Or maybe from the shadows. Which uh, which one makes me quieter when I'm moving around? That one does extra damage. Does this one keep me quieter? 13% more efficiency. Noises from actions are muffled 10%. That's the one I need. Uh, enemies will search for you for up to 50 seconds. Okay, so I'll take that one. I'm going to lurk in seven days like I lurk in Twitch channel chat. Um, here we go. We've got you. Boom. Let's put you straight down, straight onto there. There we go. Our base is already coming together. I've made myself a bit of entrance as well with, uh, as well, with some hatches to protect me from zombies do get in. Plus some doors all the way through. So that if the zombies do find where I am, that's the land claim block square, by the way. I accidentally turned it on. If zombies do find their way to me, I should still hopefully be safe. Turns out I immediately took off in the wrong direction. Haven't quite got my orientation in this world down yet. I always I kind of go in the complete opposite direction to where I think I need to go. So my, like, my internal compass is spinning around and doing all sorts of weird things. We've left the area where it actually works. Now the needle is touching the case and it ain't spinning no more. I'm going to go and uh, before I go to Trady Potato, I went back home and grabbed all my stuff to sell as well. Before I go see him to offload all that garbage, I'm going to try and go and dig up that buried treasure because why not you know it's there it's flushed up it's begging for me to come and get inside it i would love to do it just like slip right in but i can't do it without my better tools but hopefully a tier three will give me enough to actually get in and find that bloody thing i refuse to be defeated by a buried treasure buried treasures were my bitch for so long but now i'm its bitch and i need to have a power struggle all right i am here again I don't really, I, I, so apparently, oh, the circle has gotten smaller, actually. I definitely started digging when it was bigger out there. I might just, like, keep on going, like, straight across like this. I'm out of stamina for the moment. Yeah, slight, slightly more damage than it was before. It took, it takes, what, like, four? I'm getting closer to the treasure. Interesting. Oh, the circle got smaller again. All right, well, let's just start here, then, I suppose. We'll skip a couple of blocks. So before it was taking, like, what, like, six or seven blocks, I think, before I broke the, the ground underneath, uh, or swings before I broke the block. But now I'm getting it done much, much faster. No, I thought I saw it for a second. I thought I did. It's very dark down in this hole, though. 
I'm gonna go down one more so I can spin around in the circle. All right, let's go from here. And it will spread out like this. Eventually, hopefully, I'll stumble across it. I don't know. I, I just, this is a new system for me. And I'm not, I kind of miss the old one. All right, I'll admit I'm starting to get a bit impatient with this. The circle is small and I've dug up most of the ground. It's actually inside the circle. So surely, surely you're going to give me some love at some point. Oh, you're getting, I'm getting closer to the treasure. Okay. Game, I'm, uh, listen. I'm all up and about inside this circle. I'm basically giving it a rim job from the inside. Where the hell is it then? I'm going to keep digging blocks until eventually it actually just shows you where it's going to be. Yep, no, nothing. Oh, no, nothing here. Okay, fair enough. I'll keep on digging until you show me. I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, God, I saw I, I saw a shadow and I thought it was always coming down the hole. So that's on my level. So it's one, two, three across. Okay, fair enough. Well, I don't need to worry about that anymore. But when I do grab this, zombies are going to spawn. So I've got to grab and run very, very quickly. Here we go. Search buried, buried food stash. I do need food, but I wanted weapons. Uh, ooh, Shepherd's Pie recipe. I'll read you real quick. Some Mega Crush and some dog food and some cans of food. All right, not terrible. Oh, God, that's that's a lot of Muppets to spawn for not so very good loot. Don't know why you guys were so intent on defending that shit. Listen, it wasn't even that good. We can share it. It's fine. You don't have to be so bloody cranky. Is it me or does Bo look especially scary now that he used to? Ow, he's also gone for cuddles. He's been hanging out with Arlene. They're all about the snugs, which normally I wouldn't mind so much. But like in this instance, I kind of wish you guys just leave me to my own devices. Give my spear back, you bitch. As if you stole my spear. I know it's inserted through your body skull right now. It's going to take some effort to pull it out. But still, you're supposed to give that shit back to me once you're done. God, you can't just lick my shaft and like, pretend it's your own. You've got to share that shit. Other people need it too. You can't be so fucking selfish. There we go. Oh, God. He went down hard too. Cheeky tea bag into your salsa. Do you have any... I don't want the snowberry plant. I want my arrows back. Nothing in you. You. Where are you? Give me my spear. Oh, there it is there. Why isn't the icon on it? <laughs> okay. Weird things are happening with the spear, but whatever. We can now go back and see old matey Trady Protein. He sells some shit, get some shit, and hopefully live a slightly better life. It's, it's so funny going from going from a series where it's like, you know, day 70 or whatever, where you're basically a walking apocalyptic god and you're cruising through and no zombie nowhere is going to give you any sort of trouble. Going from that to like the start of a series again, when you are just a bunch of puddly little flesh, softer than some melted butter. It's, like, it's such a massive contrast. I need to remember, I can't just go and go bare knuckle boxing with a bunch of zombies. I'm going to get myself ruined. While I'm here, I will actually check the vending machine because there's candies down here. Yeah, here we go. Adam Junkies. Explosion damage plus 50%. Duration, five minutes. So you can buy uh, uh, candies now. That would call them candies. We don't call them candy in Australia. You can buy lollies now. Uh, uh, hackers. What is that? Salvage harvest 20%. All right, fair enough. I was hoping I could crack into a safe. I think there is one for uh, cracking into safes, but uh, not to be in there. I'll have to remember to keep on checking those, though, because they are definitely going to be a useful thing to me. Uh, where are the right gogs? Yes, I am. All right, here you go, mate. Ooh, antibiotics. I will take those, because at the moment I've only got the honey, but I will need some antibiotics sort of sooner rather than later, I think. I don't want to... Okay, uh, to clear zombies 300 meters away. Oh, no, buried... No, I don't want to go another buried supplies. That wasn't any fun. I would rather go stab some zombies in the face than go bury... Uh, uh, digging through some buried treasure again. Getting myself dirty in that sense is not the way I kind of want to do it. Sold all my gubs, and now I have two and a half thousand dollar redos. Oh, you do have some lucky gogs, though. They're only plus four. Is plus nine still the max? Like, is that the worst kind of lucky gogs that you can get? It might be. Oh, you also got a tier five iron spear. I can't afford it, but I would kind of like it. That would be a really good time. Uh, what do you have in here? In fact, let's just kind of skip to the skip to the important part. Volume. Nothing. Schematic. No, that's not your schematic at all, Josh. Nothing in schematics. Uh, no mods to speak of. Okay, cool. What's in your secret stash? Mini bike chassis. Bar Brawling Volume 5. It's one of the new series. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I like how Bar Brawler is written uh, in the Irish flag. It's probably a, a reference to bloody Conor McGregor or something. When in combat, health recovers one hit point with every punch. That's a really cool book. Actually, I may want to do Fists Only again, actually. There's a whole series now dedicated to just punching Muppets in the face. That would be a really good time. But look what there is. Helmet Light Mod. Yes, fucking please. Let me light up the world. Let me be your sunshine. The skies are grey, but I'll be the light at the end of the tunnel for you.
Not really much else in here that I actually want. It hurts me that there's three books here that I'm not gonna buy. The Tech Junkie book is actually interesting. Uh, this technique is a 25% chance for regular and 50% chance for power attacks to instantly charge stun buttons. Not gonna make a stun button worthwhile. Absolutely not. It is still just the floppy cock of seven days to die. It is completely worthless. You need to go push rope or helicopter. That's about all you got to do with it. Uh, you do have bellows though, which I do kind of want. Yeah, now I'll take you because I mean, I've got the money. I may as well buy it for my forge back home. Guarantee you I will find one in the next heartbeat too. Do you have actually a bicycle? You don't. Okay, I didn't waste all my money then. Let's go drop off some stuff back Shit, home. Man, that wasn't terrible. I'm not upset about that. That was actually pretty decent. Let's just make this a nice quick drop off. All of the food can go in there. All the water goes in this one. I've kind of sorted out my life just a little bit. It's still not great, but it's doing the job for me. Uh, you guys go in there. The rest of you guys can just go in, I don't know, that box. Sure, why not? I'll sort the rest of you guys a little bit later. Money. Okay, that's that's going to be my loadout for now. I've got my tools, got my weapons. I should be pretty good to go. I will actually, I will halve the amount of bandages I carry because otherwise it's a full stack and it means it makes two, which just uh, fills up my inventory for no bloody reason. All right, there we go. We're good to go. Let's go do this quest. I mean, 500 meters away, we'll get there relatively quickly. I'm still absolutely stoked. It makes me so happy that I found the Dubsy on day one. From all I've been hearing, apparently everyone else is finding trash loot, but I managed to find a Dubsy on day one. So I'm absolutely nipply stoked about that. So if you're watching other 7 Days to Die uh, players and you're like, hey, these guys are getting shit loot, make sure you remind them that Josh found a Dubsy on day one. Spam their comments with it. Make them annoyed to see my name pop up because fuck it why not oh i'm just that's how stoked i'm just so happy about it i say that like they wouldn't already be annoyed every time my name shows up but whatever don't care tell everyone i'm trying to stop and murder a bunch of idiots along the way as much as i can oh that was right in the heart dude i just stabbed you through your fucking left aorta and then put around in your eye that's about as good as you could really do that. Stand up, please. Then sit back down. Cheeky tea bag, just for good measure. And away we go. Any Muppet I see along the road, I'm going to stop and try and murder. Because I want that XP. I want... Okay, it's, it's a... They're dangling the carrot in front of me really well now. Like before, I used to kind of consider, you know, do I actually want to go out and level up? Because if I level up, the zombies get harder. But now I need the game to get harder to get better loot. It's much more balanced. At least it seems like it's going to be much more balanced. There's a bloody workbench just there, which I kind of want to raid. Give me that schematic. Give me that goodness. Just like reach in. Wait, is this? No, it's that one over there. I don't know why you went and clack in my ear. I'm not even at the right place. Are you not even, you're not even a real fucking table saw. The table saw got even more useless than it was. All right, never mind then. Well, this is the joint. It's the construction site. But this is the one with the basements that has a bunch of guys. Ooh. I see you over there. Has a bunch of guys hanging out behind some false walls, luring you into a false sense of security. Is that a biker? What's with all the bikers? Like, they're an armored zombie. They're like pretty bad news bears if you come across them. Oh, bud, listen, can you just... All right, fine. If you're going to be on the other side of the chain link fence, I'm just going to miss completely. That's embarrassing. Put some uh, arrows in your eye socket. Come here, come here. There you go. Stand still. Oh, my God. Either I'm the worst shot in the world, which is definitely more likely, or he is the fucking Neo of the Seven Days to Die Matrix. There we go, right in your schnoz. Stand still, let me shoot you. Oh god, okay, he broke the fence and he stumbled. Oh, I stabbed him right in the dick, I'm sorry. That's gonna make him mad. Not quite as mad as I would be though, if someone stabbed me in the dick with a big long pointy spear. Oh, <laughs> oh now. The death animations are so cool. Eh? He like four went into like, he was like shivering because I put a stick through his body's spinal column. Oh, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. That is an airdrop though. All the way out there somewhere. Where are you, knackers? Where are you? Where is the drop? I don't have mark airdrops on. That's annoying. It's the one thing I normally turn on, but I just clicked the default button and went on with it and then cranked up the zombies on Blood Moon, uh, Moon Horde Night. Damn it. I wish I had marked that. Cement mixer schematic, lovely dovely. Oh, I'll take that. Always a big fan of finding myself some sneaky deaky schematics when I'm out and about. Especially when I'm getting the schematics for some workstations I can't be bothered spending skill points for. Right, you go just there. You can stay in there for now. I will take that. In fact, I should remember, I should start enacting my plan of digging up all the cobblestone I can find. Because I find all the cobblestone. Well, that's a lot of cement, actually. Maybe I'll get all of that too. If I find lots of cobblestone, I can build that wall outside my wall and keep myself a little bit safer. Doesn't have to be strong, just has to be solid. Um, all right, well, it's no time like the present. Let's get in here. Bows out for the boys. Anyone hiding? Anyone sneaking? No. Nope. All right, let's go nice and slowly, Josh. Don't rush it. Oh my god! 
Oh my god, that scared the nips off me. The thud of him hitting the ground was something else. Didn't make me feel shit good at all. Ow! They're getting way better at slapping you in the chin when you try to run past them. You used to be able to like eek and deek and run rings around these Muppets, but now apparently you just kind of look at them sideways and they're like, yeah, nah, mate, I'm going to slap you silly. Oh, he was about to slap me silly. He was getting angsty, getting angry. Then he licked my spear. Now he's down for the count. God, the zombies got real dangerous all of a sudden. Do you reckon that's another roll of lies? Or do you reckon that's actually a roll of fabric or whatever it was that gives me lots of experience for not a lot of work? It's very dark in here, but now I have my sweet helmet light. Yes, it increases or decreases my stealth. Might turn it off for the moment. Then I'll turn it on when I need it. It's not too dark right now. There's definitely going to be mups in here somewhere. Uh, no one on the ground floor. Anyone behind here? No, we're looking okay. Always got to check the ceiling though. One muppet flopped on down before like a, so a, a oh fuck, a, a soggy sausage. Who's that going to be? Is that other? Oh my god! Jeez, they come to there in a rate of knots now. Alright, here we go. Let's just take our time. Calm down, Josh. It's going to be okay. Just make sure you place your shots. Don't panic so freaking much. When they come bursting through the wall like that, boy, does my sphincter tighten. Nothing else up in the ceiling. Just this shotgun messiah box. So come on, give me a gun of some kind. Not a blunderbuss. A pistol would be lovely. Or even like a hunting rifle or something. Got plenty of 7.62 back home. I mean, you got the ammo for a pistol. That's right. Okay, yeah, I'm de I don't think I'm going to find any more like decent guns until a long way down the track. I blew my load very, very early. And now I'm stuck with whatever the game decides to give me. All right, nice and sneaky, nice and quiet. Oh, I see you over there. I see you. Oh, go long, right in the temple. 3.5 times damage. You love to see it. You know what, actually? Because I've got this bloody ball sack of a shovel, it's really not great at digging up anything. It's taken way too long to actually dig up these cobblestone blocks. I'm really not feeling it. Really not uh, loving life at the other end of that shaft. I've got a bag up the top. I mean... I might just have to, like, uh, reset the POI and then do it again if I've got time afterwards. I don't want to run out of time doing the actual important part of the raid because I'm faffing about trying to pick up a couple of stones. So I might just leave that till later. Turn my headlight back off. I heard someone shuffling around outside, but that's all right. No one in here. No, nope, we're good. Okay, have a cheeky little raid and keep on pushing. All right, this is where boys become men. Boys to men, even. So let's go like this and just quickly bang down a couple of blocks like that just to protect me from the inevitable slaughter that is coming my way. Oh, I, woke up, I woke up one. I didn't wake up the one on the other side of that wall. Oh, hit him. Damn it, didn't quite get it. He's... <laughs> I love how they flop down now. It's so satisfying when they burst through a wall and immediately just eat shit right in front of you. Uh, let's go. Let's go sledgy boy for this, actually. Can I can I shoot through the stairs? Is that a thing I can do? Wait for the shot. Where are you? Come on, stick your head up. No, apparently I can't. All right, cool hitbox game. All right, I'll just wait my time then. Oh, I got a treasure map out of that, out of that can, but no time to read that <laughs> I love it. I love it so freaking much. That is such a great addition. You wouldn't think it would matter, matter that much, you know, just making zombies fall over sometimes when they crash onto a wall. But apparently it's the fucking best shit ever. Grab your spear back him up. It's right there. It's basically poking you in the eye out of his eye. But apparently you couldn't figure out how to pick it up. Anyone else waiting for me back here somewhere? But yeah, it's such a good change. Just a small thing just makes it so much better. And I appreciate it so much. I did get a skill point before, and I think it's probably worthwhile now to put it into minus 69. I given that I'm my tools are just terrible, so that's definitely gonna be a good skill going forward. Quickly check the garbage, shot iron pipe. Alright, oh the treasure map, that's right. Who was it? Another Nicole's treasure map, which I can't read right now. Apparently Nicole's just walking around town, just like throwing treasure maps out like they're freaking propaganda leaflets. What are you doing, mate? I'm gonna get there, it's gonna be dug up because everyone in the world knows about your freaking treasure map. Come on, Nicole, get it together, you sponge cake. Uh, let's scrap that. No, 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 no. You fucking, you muppet, you fucking muppet. I clicked, I clicked on the can to scrap that. Ah! I hate myself. I hate myself so much. Why do I scrap the shit I actually want, Josh? Remember that time? When uh, the game's like, hey, you totally sold your tier six steel axe. And I was like, no, I didn't. I never clicked on it. And everyone's like, no, you definitely clicked on it. No, I didn't click. I, and I fucking, I did click on that goddamn can just then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, GG game. G fucking G game. All right, well, now that you've fucked me over that way, hopefully you make up for it by giving me something even semi-decent in any of this loot here. Bullets, uh, a splinter to antibiotics. I'm just, I'm just pissed off now. I'm just an unhappy boy. There's not a lot that could make me happy right now. Ooh, an iron sledgehammer though. 69 power attack damage uh, compared to, what are you doing? 
Oh, actually, hang on. You do- Oh, hang on. Sneak damage? No, so you can't get sneak damage with a sledgehammer. That's good to know. Minus 20% target armor. Okay, that's- I like that there's more information in the spec sheet now. That's actually really good. Okay, so- it's, I mean, clearly that is a better unit than what this one is. So let's go modify, bunker buster, take you guys out of there, and bang it into my new iron sledgy. Doesn't make up for the fact I just I somehow bullshitly scrapped my goddamn treasure map, but apparently... Oh, God, I'm hungry, though. Apparently I did. Uh, let's swap you over like that. There we go. You're worth no money, so I'll scrap you. All right, what else we got? Um, oh, did I, did I not take everything out of there? Another tier two stone uh, axe. Doing the same as this one? Yeah, no, I think they're the same. All right, cool. Scrap you too. No whackers. Check the working sis box out the back. Anything in you? Tier four. Some tier four gear. Okay, fair enough. Are you better than this one? You are somehow worse. No, you're one better. All right, cool bananas. And also a tier four stone shovel. So some slightly better stone gear. I mean, this is out of like a retail box. Can you imagine going down to a local hardware store? You're like, oh, mate, I need a shovel. And he hands you a stick with a stone on the end of it. You're like, dude, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this nonsense? But no, I understand why it's a thing. That's fine. It makes sense. I could just grab some of you because for some reason I just decided to. There we go. Grab that. And I don't think I did. No, I didn't. What's in the reinforced chest? More bullets and some... Yeah, okay. That's that's not great, but not terrible. I accept your offering, but real quick, I've got to sort out this stuff. I can now break down these boxes with three fell swoops of my hand, which is kind of nice. Do I have any food on me, actually? I don't have any food on me. That's kind of unfortunate, given I'm so bloody hungry right now. I didn't find anything upstairs in the kitchen. I'll have a quick little double check on the way through. Nothing new, nothing new. I'm still mad. I'm still still so mad about scrapping that goddamn treasure map. Such a me thing to do. Oh, there's some food. I'll quickly take you. Thank you very much. Every time I think I'm starting to get a better handle on the game, I do something dumb like that that just reminds me there are no bigger galahs than me. Not even the ones that live in a fucking gum tree. See, this is what I was scared of. It's 20 to 6. The sun's already setting on another day. I need to put everything I've got in here nice and quickly. All of you go in there, please. I'll take you all home a little bit later. If I have to do the run home at night again, I'll just have to deal with that. Let's have a look, actually. Let's have a look at the new sledgy. Oh, I like that it's a darker blue. It's not quite as, like, you know, kind of vibrant as the old blue used to be. But if you tilt that at the sun just right, it looks kind of purple. And we all know how I feel about purple. As long as I'm magenta, magenta can fuck off. So, uh, the, ooh, it looks kind of nice. It swings kind of nice. It's slower than the stone one was, which is a little bit upsetting. But we'll deal with it as we go. All right, well, let's give it a red hot crack then. Let's reset the POI. Boom. Let's get cracking. Let's get going. Let's get looting. Last time old mate tried to belly flop on me from the ceiling. He's not up there this time, is he? I can't see him. Don't walk backwards into a corner you haven't scoped out yet, Josh. Uh, no, he doesn't seem to be up there at all. No, okay, interesting. I would have thought they'd be in kind of the same spot as last time. I, I, I mean, oh, I see a red dot on my compass. He's over there somewhere. He's, he's hiding, he's lurking. I'm going to trust the compass and assume there's no guys in the corner there. There is not, which is good. Where is this guy? Where is he? I want to get that stealth shotty goodness, but he's not going to let me, is he? Come on. Come on. No, you're just here. Oh, no. Damn it. Didn't quite get it. All right. Sledgy. Sledgy, get your time. Ow. Time to shine, buddy. All our lanes coming for the fun, too. All right. Fair enough, then. Well, if you're going to come out here and cause a ruckus, I'm going to stick some... Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I think it takes a lot of stamina to swing this fucking heavy piece of shit. Come on. Get some movement. Get some grooving. Fuck it, she's fast, she's fast. No, fuck it, that's the one. Oh, I'm not doing well. I, why? It's the same fucking sledgehammer. It's a worse sledgehammer than the last one. Why does it take all of my stamina bar to swing my bloody sledgehammer? Whereas before, I can get a couple of swings at it before it's done. 106 to what? It takes a third of my stamina bar to swing this piece of shit. Man, I was, I was enjoying. I was having a good time with the stone sledgehammer. You've given me something better, and suddenly I hate it. Figure that one out. Make sure we don't forget the um, uh, Shocker Messiah box up in the ceiling up there. Oh, no, that was almost it. How did I even, how did I even do that? Game, what are you spoken, bud? What are you on about? You are fucking at the bottom of your crack pipe. You need a refill, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think you're fucking cooked enough, mates. Uh, make sure we don't forget the box upstairs. I might even... So the sledgehammer's not great, yeah? So I might even just go back to the spear. The spear was doing wonderful things for me. I got excited by having an iron sledgehammer, but it's just not doing what I was hoping it was going to do. I'm running out of time. I've got to go fast. What's in the working stiffs? 
Tier 3 shovel, scrap it away. A wheel. Nice. Okay, we're one step closer to a bicycle. All we need now is another wheel and the rest of the bicycle. I'm trying to go stealth because I've been a little bit too cavalier of late. So I kind of want to make sure that I'm doing this the right way. I don't think that counts as me actually going to hit that shot because like the lip of the bucket there blocks his head. So let's go all the way around. So like there. There we go. Solsify him. Just that little pit. There's probably also a muppet behind that little stack over there. Cheeky, cheeky dip. I mean, I know we're stealthing it up. But that's when we kind of have a, a, a sneaky, a stealthy dip. No one there. I know it's dark, but I can't turn on the headlight right now because it'll wake everybody up. And as we've seen, as soon as I do that, I get my shit pushed in. And so they're showing one dot on the compass. In fact, there's a guy... Oh, no, it was just leading me to a pack of them. All right, cool bananas then. Guess like that's when they spawn in then, I suppose. Let's go like that again. Who was the guy who gave me issues last time? Let's make sure my stealth is all the way down. Open that one up. I'm going to try and kill them before they ever actually discover that I'm here. Aim up a little bit like that. That went straight through his shoulder game. I mean, I guess I gotta got some more dip on it. Uh, like that. There we go. Straight through his hard hat. He is no more. All the way down to 10. Can I get... Can I get... Is there someone in there? Can I get the shot? No, they're all over that side. All right. I'm game. I'll try. I'll do what you're asking of me, game. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Nice and stealthy. Open that one up. Where are they? I know they're in there somewhere. I know they're waiting for me. I just want to see them first. There we go. Super stealthy Woodle. Unusual for him, but going pretty well. There is the last of the mups. Uh, aim up a little bit. That in there we go. It's now completely empty. We're completely fine. Take my arrows back. Thank you very much for your cooperation, zombies. I appreciate you not being dickbags once in your life. Let's uh, open this up. Get my arrow back out of you. Always pick up your arrows, guys. So don't want to be left without. Let's see if this was all worthwhile. Shamway box, always a disappointment. And, oh, actually not bad this time because I am I have been hungry for a while. In fact, I'm a little bit thirsty at the moment too. A battery, a lockpick, and a stone axe. I'll scrap one and take the rest. Do I have any water on me? I don't. I've got some outside in the box out the front though, so that's not too bad. Medical supplies, another splint, and more vitamins. We're slowly starting to get some slightly better stuff. I'm not sure if I've like in, I hit a new loot stage or what. Some more armor, some shotgun shelves. Uh, I'm wearing... Yeah, okay. So those ones are... Uh, wait, hang on. Eight compared to nine? Okay, so those ones are better. They are still get confused by this. It's like, not, not the way I think it is every time I actually go in there. Padded boots will make me quieter and move easier. Not actually a bad shout given I'm about to go running around to get back home again. Already got a scrap helmet on and I'm not wearing anything on my gloves. Not wearing the military gloves. So they're worth the same, but the military gloves have all these other green numbers to it. So I'll get rid of you. I'll sell those ones. All right. Well, not quite as um, splendiferous as I was hoping for, but we got the job done at least. Let's grab our shit and head on home before we shit really kicks off. So with loading up all my stuff, I am cucumbered. I don't need more cooking pots. I have like three back home, so I'll scrap you. I will turn those into more bandages like that. Uh, eat one of you. I'll scrap the can out of you as well. Just kind of freeing up as much inventory space as I can. The water. I need to drink the water too. What else is in here that I don't need? In fact, I probably should have turned that into duct tape. Although it's an extra spot anyways. It wouldn't really mattered. Um... One potato. I have one potato. I've got one corn at home too. All right, that's going to be all that she wrote. I've got... How far do I have to go? Oh, it's a long way. It's a long, long way. It's almost a full... It's half a kilometer. All right, get on the hoof. No time like the present. We've got 45 minutes to get home and we're crawling along like a snail without a shell. The sun is setting and I'm a long, long way from home still. Got two more blocks to run. I've only made it halfway so far. I'm just trying to like kind of save my energy as much as possible because as soon as four more minutes tick over, night falls and shit gets a bit iffy out here. But I've got the shotgun ready to go. Okay, that was interesting. I'm not sure what just happened there. All right, we'll keep on moving. There we go. Okay, now we can start moving and grooving. That's going to be a feral though, isn't it? I mean, I'm fine with getting rowdy about it. Get I love how you're doing. Boom! Straight through. I didn't even take a backward step. Oh, would you just flop me out and lick me from shaft to tip? Oh, that was fucking satisfying. Oh, yeah. Okay. All that uncoordinated down there is now like, oh, what was that? What happened to this salsified head? I will never fucking know because I'm gone like the fucking wind, just like the last guy you were with. There's an Arlene camped outside my house, as you would probably expect her to be. Oh, I did hit her nice and square on that one, though. She's going to be mad about it now, though. Put her down again. Oh, this is so good. Do a little bit of damage to start with and finish her off with the shotgun. Come on, get your stamina back. Try and maintain a little bit of decorum here. Headlights on because it's now dark as dicks. 
fuck. Okay, there's a couple around. Let's not go down the alleyway of death, though. Let's go around the long way just to make sure we're not going to get cornered down there. Is that... What sound is that? Oh, it's old matey. Okay, put you down. I'm going to wake up your boyfriend over here. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Oh, put... he didn't go down from that? That's pretty rude, bud. Oh, because you're a feral. Because you were a feral. All right, never mind then. God, I'm so glad I found this shotgun. Imagine if I didn't find this. This is what I was talking about. This is why everyone needs to know that I found a goddamn shotgun day one. Because, oh my God, has that been a good find. Home sweet home. Uh, open the hatch, put the hatch back up. There's like three different barricades between the outside world and me. And like, sure enough, if they're here, I can just kind of pepper them while they stand there. The shotgun won't reach that far, but I mean, arrows and stuff will. Or I can just start lobbing some grenades down there. I think this base might actually hold up pretty well in the long run. Let's, um... Man, I miss my inventory sorting mods. I might actually try and just install them. They're built for Alpha 18, but hopefully the coding isn't too different and will work with Alpha 19. I miss all my mods. I really do. Just like the quality of life improvements. That, like, the inventory sorting stuff is actually built into seven days already. All that mod does is just activate it. All that coding already exists. I don't know why I can't just have it. It makes life so much better. Well, it's going to take me some time to sort out all my inventory anyway. I'm, I'm not sold on this on the iron sledgy. I mean, yes, it's good. It's pretty. It's heavy It does a lot of good stuff, but it just it takes so much more to swing Stamina cost 36. Did I ever check the stone sledgy? I don't think I did. I didn't realize I actually had a stat there for it That's so expensive. So does that mean that if you find different I haven't been checking that again when I've been finding tools along the journey just been going like the normal stuff like damage and level and stuff like that for mod slots Maybe I should start checking the stamina cost. I didn't realize that, that was actually something that might actually be variable from one to the other. Because if you find a sledgy that can be swung faster and easier, that will probably be better even if it does slightly less damage. So it's like kind of a balancing act deciding what's more important to you. But I'll have to come back, hopefully find another sledgehammer and try not to scrap some more valuable stuff. Oh, I'm still mad. I'm still mad about that. In the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.